Hola, somos Unspoken. Y estás viendo 117 Televisión. Well, you probably already know these guys from their top 10 hit, Who You Are. This is Unspoken, and we are so excited to get to talk to them today and introduce them to you guys. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. We've been sipping on a little chai tea and coffee on a rainy day here in Nashville. Appreciate y'all taking time out to talk with us. All right, to get started, tell us a little bit about the background of how you guys met and kind of how you came to be Unspoken. I'm going to try to do this quickly, even though my wife says I can't do anything quickly. So I'm going to try to... Um, Mike and I met um, on a missions trip. I went to, uh, on a missions trip to the Dominican Republic to try to find my faith and um, really get sober from addiction and stuff like that. And so uh, God just kind of led me to that uh, missions road. I called up these missionaries and said, can I come hang out with you? And they said, sure. And uh, while I was there, I met Mike and um, I was there for two months. And Mike was a great guitar player. I could sing. And uh, just through kind of a series of events, um, felt like Mike was supposed to come back to Maine with me because I'm originally from Maine. And um, we bought an old car and some music equipment and started traveling anywhere we could. And now we're 10 years later. Wow, 10 years later. So had you spent much time in the U.S. before you came here to pursue music? Um, I used to go on vacation to New York and Miami, but I honestly came because I did not know where Maine was. <laughs> Like, had I known, I mean, it was great this first summer, but when that winter hit, it was, it was so cold. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, Lord, why not New York? We're all the Dominicans. <laughs> so. And then you picked up two other brothers along the way. Tell us about these guys. Um, uh, they don't really count because they're just the rhythm section. <laughs> uh, John is my pastor's son, grew up in Maine together, and he graduated college uh, with a music degree. And uh, when Mike and I had been together a little bit, um, we asked him, we gave him a deal that he couldn't refuse at 30 bucks a week. Wow. And said, would you come and play with us with your degree? He said, yes. And then, yeah, um, I mean, that's a good deal for a music major to make 30 bucks a week these days. Yeah, so. that wasn't too shabby, huh? <laughs> he hasn't gotten a raise ever since. <laughs> and then um, we met Ariel on the road, actually played with another band, and Push came to shove. Uh, he was kind of looking for somewhere to play, and we desperately needed a great drummer, and he was that. What a great mix. You found the right four here for Unspoken. Had great success. Congratulations on who we are. That song um, reached the top 10. It still played so often. And um, what great lyrics to that. Did one of you guys write that song? Yeah, we all of us did pretty much. Yeah. With a friend of ours. So. Mm -hmm. What's that song been like as far as when you perform it live and seeing the reaction of people? And I know people sing along to that one. Yeah, I mean, it's neat. I mean, for the first time, we've been able to go places and as soon as we start playing the music, people stand up and start cheering. And it's really just, you know, an anthem of, of hope to remind us that no matter where we find ourselves in life, we're never too far from God's reach. We can come and lay our lives at the foot of the cross and God can change who we are. So it's one of those things that whether you're a drug addict or you're just a dad that's looking for more patience, you know, we can change when we bring our lives to Christ. So. Um, I think it, you know, resonates with everybody, and uh, I mean, everybody wants to change, and for us, it's just been a, an amazing um, blessing to be able to go and hang out with people that know our songs and are encouraged by our music. I mean, that was the whole point, is to point them to God, so. Yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's talk about the new stuff. This is the EP that is out now. There's actually two out, so you can get your hands on lots of music because you will want to do that because coming up at the first of the year, we've got even more music coming out, right? right? You guys just keep putting it out. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. The new single is Lift My Life Up. I live my life. bit about the making of that song? Um, I think 
that song for, for me is just the reminder that um, although there's many cares and worries in this life for sure, um, it's a reminder that we need to slow down, take one day at a time, and lift our life and surrender to God today um, because God's given us the peace and given us the ability to make it through today. But when we step back and we look at our future and all these things we can't control, um, you know, we get overwhelmed and it's, you know, seems to be, um, you know, uh, turmoil, you know, that kind of thing brings turmoil and, and certainly, uh, you know, we're looking for just peace, you know. So I think for us, you know, it's just a song that is um, dear to our hearts because it reminds us to slow down and just give our life and surrender to God. Awesome. I love that. Well, speaking of slowing down, you're not really doing too much of that. You guys are on the road a lot coming up, aren't you? Tell us about what you've got coming up as far as tours go this summer. I saw your name attached to some big names. Yes. Um, We've uh, been so blessed this year to been, have been invited to uh, tour with, with awesome bands that we we look forward to, uh, you know, for years. We're like, oh, we love these bands. And then now they're, they're calling us and inviting us to these tours. Like, we just wrapped up one with uh, Sanctus Real that we did this whole um, spring. And that was awesome. Uh, I can't think of a better band uh, to learn a lot of things and life on the road and balancing family and, and such, um, like those guys. And now our next tour, uh, starting in September for a couple months, is going to be Big Daddy Weave, Chris August, and unspoken so it's gonna be Woo-hoo. full of uh, soul and uh, an awesome time of ministry and so we're super excited uh, the, it, it's pretty much booked uh, already like all I think there's only a few dates left uh, that people can book that tour but it's just it's got a really good um, acceptance in the promoters and things like that so we're very excited that's awesome broadly. that's awesome well congratulations on all the success the top 10 single and then this one which is climbing up itself so we're so proud of you guys and excited for and um, the new music to get out as well congratulations Thank you.